Ian was traveling with his girlfriend, Madison, from Mount Olive, West Virginia to their homes in Rutland, Ohio. They had been visiting some old friends from high school for the day, but now it was late. Along the way they would pass through the town of Point Pleasant, where the Mothman has roamed over the years. The drive would be long on the dark and lonely road. So, for entertainment Ian asked Madison, Have you heard of the Mothman? Madison casually answered, I've heard of it, but not much else. We will soon drive through a town called Point Pleasant, where back in the 60s there were reports of people seeing a humanoid creature with wings. He paused for dramatic effect. The beast supposedly haunted Point Pleasant, terrorizing the citizens. In fact, there was an interesting case of two couples who were chased by the Mothman in their car as they sped away from the old TNT area. What is the TNT area? It was a place where TNT was manufactured for World War II. Sounds like an interesting place. Madison wasn't scared at all. So Ian pushed it further. Well anyways, the most unnerving thing about this monster were its red eyes. There are stories of people seeing these devilish eyes staring at them in the dark. Animals disappearing mysteriously. And lone travelers being met by strange men. Still not convinced, Madison said. If you're going to try and scare me, you need to do a better job than that. Ian took up the challenge. Okay, I'm going to take you to the old TNT area. Oh, really? Why not? Let's explore for a few minutes and see what we can find. Madison agreed just to humor him, though she didn't believe in the Mothman at all. In no time, Ian turned down Potter's Creek Road and pulled off on the shoulder. Down there is the TNT dome. He pointed to a pathway that led away from the road. Madison got out of the truck while Ian looked for two flashlights. Okay, Ian, lead the way. He led them through the darkness down the pathway, occasionally shining his flashlight into the trees. Finally, they reached their destination. There's the entrance to the TNT dome. Wow. This is amazing. I bet there is a rich history here. Their conversation continued about the history of the site when a large snap came from some branches overhead. Ian immediately shined his flashlight into the trees nearby. Quick, look over there. Something in the tree moved just outside the beam of light. Only two red orbs could be seen perched in the tree. Ian walked just a little closer to get a better look when a strange sound emanated from the red orbs. Ian! Get back here! Madison could feel that something was wrong with the whole situation. Ian now felt it as well. He backtracked to Madison, but by doing so, he tripped and dropped his flashlight. Ian! Madison screamed. Ian jumped up and shined his flashlight back on the treetop, but the red orbs were gone. He turned all around shining the light everywhere. Come on Ian, let's go! Madison begged fervently. They ran back to their truck, not wanting to give in to panic. Yet Ian felt they were being watched. The hair on the back of his neck stood up on end as he turned around. Behind them was a humanoid creature with great wings, lunging towards them. Run! Ian shouted. He made sure Madison stayed in front, as he prayed nothing would happen to them. Once they got to the truck, Madison got in and slammed the door. Ian almost made it to his door when the creature screeched again, sitting in the treetop on the side of the road. He got into the truck, started the ignition, and floored it. They drove faster and faster. Madison kept looking behind them for the beast. Do you see it? No! I can't see it! The creature then slammed into the roof of the truck. Madison screamed. <coughs> and Ian swerved, but maintained control. Then out of nowhere, the windshield shattered, as Ian slammed on the brakes. The truck skidded to a stop as the creature flew away. 
the Mothman let out another screech as it disappeared from view in the distance. Are you okay? Ian asked quietly. Madison was in shock. I'm fine. Can we go home now? Ian pressed the gas pedal with all of his might and drove off into the darkness. They both knew they encountered the Mothman, and they both knew that they had escaped with their lives. From that point on, Ian and Madison never traveled down Potter's Creek Road again for fear of encountering the Mothman.